The president's executive action on immigration is raising new questions tonight and new outrage as well. Correspondent William Lajeunesse is in Los Angeles with how illegal immigrants appear to be getting rewarded for breaking the rules. To be honest, I do feel failed by my government. By American me. Jimmy Gugliato currently lives in Santiago, Chile with his children and Argentinian wife, waiting for more than a year and a half for their visa. I've had people tell me, well, why don't you just show up at the border and then and try to get across. And, you know, we just don't want to jeopardize. We want to do this thing right. U.S. policy is supposed to grant American citizens, spouses, and families abroad priority. But under President Obama, illegal immigrants already in the U.S. get preference. Most Americans are upset that the legal immigration system that has been set up by Congress has been completely dismembered and distorted in this way to benefit people who came here originally illegally. People like me, a United States citizen, were actually consciously put at the back of the line. And that's it. To me, it's a total outrage. The line of foreigners trying to enter the U.S. legally now stands at 4.4 million, 100,000 more than last year. Why? The agency in charge is busy, helping illegal immigrants who received residency under President Obama. They are not qualified for legal immigration in most cases, and yet their applications were given the highest priority. That priority meant processing times rose from two months in 2012 to as many as 18 months today for the spouses and children of citizens like Jimmy Gugliotta. It's depressing. I mean, there's no way to, to beat around the bush. It's depressing. We asked, but the administration has not explained why it is providing preferential status to illegal immigrant applications. Brett? William, thank you.